Hello guys, how's it going? So today I thought I'd do a video on Xbox One because as you can see here I've got it um, and you know what, it's actually okay but there's some things that annoy me so I just want to tell you guys about it, I don't know if you've got the new next gen consoles not yet, um, not or yet or if you've got the new gen consoles or not yet, that's what I meant to say. So if you've got a PlayStation 4 that's great, don't care, I don't play PlayStation, don't ask me anything about PlayStation because I'm not going to know, I'm just not going to know. Right, so I've got an Xbox One, it's down there on the floor, the first thing is, it's super fucking heavy. Why make something that heavy? PlayStation's not that heavy, why do I know this? Because I picked one up in the store, one that heavy, no, 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 no. Why is it so heavy? Not only that, it's so chunky, it takes up three times the space of my 360. Good thing about it, it takes the disc in. Um, but the PlayStation 3 did that on PlayStation 3, so, um, other than that, I really like the recognition feature on the Kinect, the Kinect is brilliant, this is the Kinect here, it's set up on my desk, it's flashing, it's letting you know it's there, um, but yeah, I like the fact you can go on games, uh, for example, like I can go on Battlefield or Call of Duty Ghosts, um, and then come back on this bit here, which is the dashboard, I'm just going to zoom in on this so you can see, Right, so we're actually on the Xbox One dashboard here, and, uh, like, the one thing that I do like about it, for example, Xbox. It normally does work, I swear. Xbox. Xbox. Now it comes up. Brilliant. So yeah, you can tell it whatever you want it to do. So, um, go to friends list. Go to friends list. Oh, that's brilliant. It basically said go to DVR and then just didn't do anything. Xbox, you fucker. Xbox. Is it just to not understand my northern accent or something? Go to friends list. There you go. Got it in the end. I could have actually done that quicker with a controller, couldn't I? Anyway, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to basically take this really nice controller that you get, which is the Xbox One controller. I don't know if you can see that because of all the glare on the background there. Wow, it's so blurry in my camera, isn't it? Right, yeah, so we're actually going to go before. So as you can see here, I've actually got quite a few followers. Um, as it is, I've got 110 followers, so thanks for following me, guys, if you do. Uh, and if you don't follow me, I don't know how you do it, but make sure you do follow me, isn't it? Because it's just awesome. But yeah, no, um, to be honest with you, I'm just going to zoom the camera back out, actually. It's a, it's a really good idea, but it's just implemented really bad. I feel like it's, the, it's not that it's a bad console, I just think it's been rushed. It's very much been rushed, because things aren't finished on it. And what you tend to find as well is, like, when I'm going on the dashboard and stuff... Um, and I'm like just navigating around, just doing different things, or I might be installing a game. The dashboard itself actually lags, and I know it's not my connection because I've got fiber optics and my connection's fine. Um, but it, the dashboard's actually lagging, so it can't keep up with itself. And what really annoys me as well is the fact that I've spent almost £500 on a console, and I get a wireless pad, and they expect me to now go buy a, buy a play and charge kit. I'm going to turn this off actually so I don't waste the... Uh um, batteries on it. So yeah, now I've got to go buy a plain charge kit, which is another £20 on top of what I've already spent. It's like, don't you think that you've basically charged enough there that you should actually, you know, give me it for free with the console, maybe? I don't know. I just find that really tight from Microsoft. Um, another thing that really annoys me as well is I bought Call of Duty Ghost Edition Xbox, which is why I only got it so late, because apparently Game didn't have it in until the 29th, and I didn't get it till the 2nd of December. Um, is you don't actually get a proper disc, you get a game download, digital game download. That's so annoying. If I'd have known that, I'd have just got the day one Xbox console and bought the game separately. It's like, why? It's like, I can't sell the game, I can't trade it in now, I can't do anything with it. It's just sat on my... Ah, oh, I find that really annoying. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the, uh, the one thing I do want to say is the positives is the game, oh my god, it's so smooth. It's ridiculous. Like It's like playing PC, how smooth it is. It's ultra smooth, like, you, when you're playing Battlefield or COD, you can just tell, you like, it feels like I'm just gliding across the map. The games are made for this console, I'm telling you, because Call of Duty Ghosts on the 360, you find it really hard to see things far away. On that, you've got no issue at all. It's just crisp, it's clean, it's cut. It just makes me actually like the game a little bit better, just because it's, it's so, so nice. I really like that. I really like the Xbox One controller as well. I know a few people don't like it, but I actually like it. Um, a few people say it's too small, but it fits perfectly for me. Uh, I haven't got the smallest of hands. The one thing I don't like about it, though, is the RB and the LB are quite stiff, so you might have to loosen them up. They, I've been playing on it a bit, and they seem a bit looser, but I don't know. They just don't seem made properly. Like, they're not as... not as, um, I'd say not as flimsy as the Xbox 360 controllers, but that sounds bad, but sort of we want them flimsy because it makes them easier to tap. 
Um, also, the triggers on it are a lot more sensitive as well than the uh, 360. So if you're one of those people, um, I know quite a few pros do it, that holds their trigger halfway down on COD, and then when they see someone, they push it fully down just to cut that reaction time down a little bit slower. You can't do that on this because it's just so sensitive, you'll just straight fire. And the, the RT button and the LT button's a lot thicker now. You've got all of that, which is your button. Whereas before it was just, just that bit, wasn't it? So yeah, you can't do that anymore. You've got to press it when you see people. You can't hold it halfway down and press it. I could never do that anyway. It was well hard. So I don't know if you can see it, but that's where my Xbox is. As you can see there, my Xbox 360 stood up. And that's where my Xbox One is because there is literally nowhere else for it to go. Um, still can't use my Astros or anything, so they're all packed up over there. But yeah, as you can see, it's just massive. But yeah, I like the front of it. The front of it looks sleek and smooth anyway. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Xbox One. Do I wish I got a PlayStation? Well, obviously, it just seems like the PlayStation is a little bit more finished, but I've got all my friends on Xbox, so that's where I'm going to have to stay, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I mean, I get why people like PlayStation. If I didn't have any friends to start with and I wanted to buy a console, I've got to be honest with you, I'd probably go for the PlayStation. It's cheaper and they've, it actually looks like they put more time and effort into it. Um, but Xbox is Xbox, and it? It's always going to be... It's always going to be um, improving and getting better, so I just can't wait for them to update the dashboard and stuff and fix a few little bugs that I've found. Um, also, I don't know why I've done this, but I got £10 off a game when I bought the console at game. And guess what game I got? I should have just stopped doing it. I got a Battlefield 4 and I'm so annoyed because it's EA, isn't it? And I spent 40 quid on SimCity and they fucked me over because the servers were down constantly and when they were up, they fucked the game over. Like on SimCity, you've got a map to build stuff, but the map was so small, you couldn't actually build anything on it to complete the game or like even get far in the game. Anyone who's got SimCity, you'll know. I don't know if they've done an update recently, but I can't even get back on it now because it's saying that my code's already in use because I installed it and then uninstalled it. I don't know. But yeah, I tried playing the, um, Battlefield 4 because I got it, obviously. I tried playing it last night. It was just constant. Let me play a few games, then it just kicked me out. Then it went black screen for ages. Then it was like all the servers unavailable. And it was just like, for Christ's sake, sort it out, EA. They're really starting to wind me up a little bit, to be honest. It's like, you've got to stop with this reputation. FIFA 14 came out. It was buggy. It was glitchy. Battlefield 4, the servers are going down. SimCity, I'm fuming about SimCity still. So that's another story, though, for another day. That's EA. EA is going to be EA, aren't they? They're just known to just not be that reliable. I'm kind of wishing I got Dead Rising 3, though, instead of Battlefield 4, because um, I probably could have got this a little bit later when the glitches are fixed and stuff on it and the bugs, and I can actually play it. So, guys, there's the thoughts on the Xbox One from your girl, Care Barrack. So, it wasn't a review because I haven't really gone into detail or anything, and I don't really want to because, to be honest with you, I just want to play it. Uh, but yeah, so I just it's just my thoughts on it. You know, comment below. What have you bought? What are you thinking of it? Do you if you've bought the Xbox One, do you feel like it's not finished yet? Do you sort of wish you got the PlayStation 4? If you've got the PlayStation 4, what do you think of the Xbox? Does it make you feel good that you've got a PlayStation? Um, but honestly, like I said, I'm not all about this. Uh, I'm not about this life about the uh, I'm a PlayStation Xbox fan girl. I think people go where their friends are, and to be honest, if all my friends were on PlayStation, I'm not going to get an Xbox because why would I want to play on my own? So that's just where I'm coming from on that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, make sure you subscribe, and check you later. Bye. So yeah, iSeries, it was actually really good fun. Insomnia 50, they went out of their way to make it so good. I was really, really happy to be there. It was awesome fun. Saturday night, they had like this comedian come in and, and give us all a stand-up show and... They had the pub quiz and some live bands on and stuff like that, and it was really, really good. Um, so yeah, I think it was absolutely brilliant.